Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're brand new and just stopping by for the first time, welcome, thanks for checking me out. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's actually the second half of the haul from this morning. Every single item here is $1.25. I do not have any plus stores in my area. I'm in the Hudson Valley in the state of New York. I don't have any plus stores in my area that I am aware of. Um, if one comes about, I will definitely let you know. These items all came from Poughkeepsie, Hyde Park, Wappinger Falls, and Kingston, New York. If you want details to where those store locations are, if you're in the area, let me know. I'll always let you know where those stores are. All right, Dollar Tree haul. Let's jump into it. Let's start with a couple things that I have for your home. These glass bottles are so pretty. Now they come with the same kind of bow. The bows are completely removable. I'm just fixing this bow because it's kind of just off a little bit from sitting in my bag on the way home. You can remove it if you want. You can see a beautiful lime green and there is actually a pattern all the way around the jar. It has a cork on top, which is completely removable. So what I love about these bottles, I remember a friend of mine back home in Chicago, her mom had all these different colored bottles in her window in the kitchen. She had one of those windows that went out. Um, not so much a bay window. I, what are they called? Um, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. She always had all these different sizes and shaped bottles, and they always look so pretty when the sun shined in. The other style, they had a clear one, but I didn't want that one, so I picked up this one here. It is kind of like a pinky rose color. Here's that green. Again, it's more of a lime green, and then there's that pinky rose color. Same bow. It's kind of messed up, but you can remove it. It's just, you know, it's not glued on or anything like that, so you can take it right off. Yeah, easier said than done, right, Beth? You can pop it right off. I kind of like it, believe it or not, I kind of like it without the bow. But that's just me, or change it. Okay, also, they had a couple plaques or decor. They are sealed in plastic, but it does have a hanger that you can hang them up with. Impress yourself. Now, this has a glass front, so but it has plastic too, so I'll try to keep the glare off for you. That was really pretty in the silver tone. And then I found this one here, which I like the best. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside and be a total bitch on the outside. I'm just kidding. That's just me, how I roll here um, in my sense of humor. But this one's really pretty too, and it's got the gold tone. Also in the houseware department, um, Patty, if you're watching, look away. These are wooden... Um, decors and they are in the gnomes whoops and I just get ready to drop it I swear I don't think I've ever had a Dollar Tree haul where I haven't dropped something all right here's the first one is that cute for those of you that collect the bees there's that one and then there's that one with the honey I thought these were just so cute solid wood which is always a plus all right, I wanted to show these again. Actually, no, wait, let me go to this first. I did pick up, I've been recently talking about the mint green and how it's been like catching my eye lately. And I'm not sure why, because I was never really a fan of it, but I like the way it works with the purple in this room. And these containers, they're wrapped in plastic, but it's like a little mini, um, I have one of these for organizing my crafts, but it's got three drawers, the ones with the wheels on them. So you got these two big drawers that you can see through. You can independently pull them out. But I got two packs because I'm just going to hot fix them together. And then I'm just going to put them on my desk like that. And then you can pull out the individual drawers. I have so many little trinkets and little itty bitty things that I like to keep on my desk. Um, and that's just perfect for it. All right, what I was going to say is I wanted to give these another view. I ended up finding two more packages of the Peep Lights. I showed them in a video about a week ago, maybe not so long ago. And then I put them on a tree that I did from Dollar Tree. But I don't feel like they got much justice because they're so much nicer in person. Um, I went back to the store that I originally got mine from and these were the last two that they had. So this is going to take the AA batteries. Now, I'm not going to light these up. I just took them out of the package because I want you to see just how cute they really are. They did a great job on these. 
they're done from the front and then there's your back. So they completed the back side of each of these. Unfortunately, what happens is when they light up, the light runs dry down the middle and on camera, it doesn't come across. At home, it will, but you could even hang these up without lighting them and they're just too, too cute. So don't go by on just what you saw on camera because they are so much cuter in person. And like I said, that was the last two and I think there was either 24 or 36 in the display. So I've got five all together and I was only a couple of days difference in that store. That's how fast they flew. All right, this next thing for Easter, since I'm on Easter real quick, they had some of these last year, if I remember, but this year I found them in two different colors. I love pastel colors. I always have, and I love when spring comes around because you start getting into the pastel colors. You know, you're not so much yet because we're only in February, even though it's 50 degrees here today in New York. Um, you know, April starts coming around in May and the tulips start peeping up and the crocuses and it's always just fresh and, you know, it's like the world blooming and it, it is. So that's where I get the pastels from. But these have little fuzzy butts here for their Easter bunny. So they had it in the pastel. The backside's all blank. If you want to change it and do something different, just this piece alone is worth a buck and a coin. And they had it in the darker color. Now, for some reason, I love my pastel, but I'm digging this better. I just think it's a better visual. There's the two together. That's just my opinion. And these are pretty long. These are over 15 inches in length. All right, I did go back to see, because I showed in another haul, these carrots. And these are the Crafter Square carrots. They're really well done. They're all full of foam. I showed these like a couple of days ago as well. And I showed this design. And I showed you this design. And then Miss Linda made a comment, and I know she's just pulling my chain, and said I was surprised I didn't get the other design. I wasn't all that keen on the other design. But when I went to the store, they had one left of the other design, so I grabbed it to share with you. So here are the three carrots. There are no other designs that I'm aware of. These are the three design patterns. So in this one here, you've got more of like polka dots. Obviously, you got your checkers there. And then this one is just like um, a plain orange is what it is. And this one just throws a little more color. So it's really up to your liking. All right. I did see these. And Miss Patty, if you already have them, you got to let me know. And I'll try to exchange them for something else. But I saw these and I thought of you and I got two of them. Because who does not want a pair of taco socks? Yes, socks with tacos. I'm sure you probably already have them. But guess what? I'm sending them to you anyways. So now you got two more pear patty tacos coming your way, girl. All right, I did grab another one of these headbands. Um, it's actually a shower headband. And the reason I did is because these things are so nice. Oh, I love mine and I showed it to someone else and they were like, oh, can I have it? I said, take it. So I'm glad I found myself another one. These things are so thick. They're not cheap. They're not flimsy. They are adorable. The bow comes out. If you want it to come out, tuck it back in. If you want it back in, if you don't want it back in, put something else in there. They are just adorable. Slips in, slips out for washing purposes. Bam. Done. Love it to pieces. <clears throat> All right. One other thing I forgot to share as well is I had another pair of fashion toenails. And this one, again, no glue included by B color, you get 12 in a package and you get some blue ones and then you get some with that design right there, which is pretty cool. All right, something that's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of a decent price for a buck and a coin because most places they're like two bucks or 225. I do like the smell of the black ice. So I get this one and I put that in the car. I, I like the smell. Um, I don't know what it is, but I, I really like it. I finally found, I didn't think these were going to come back. Every single item that you can buy at Dollar Tree that requires batteries of some sort with those little plastic cases, this, it would help if I held it the right way, right? This mini screwdriver set has every single size that you're going to need to open up those battery packs. Keep in mind, when you open this up, 
All these yellow knobs are going to feel like they're falling off or they're loose. They're not. That's just the way the product is. So if the bottom starts twisting, don't freak out. Not that you'll freak out, but it's not broken. They do move. I use one of these probably on a daily basis. I bought another one because I had a couple missing from my last move. You definitely want to grab one of those. It's worth the buck and the coin. Went down the toy and kitty department. OMG, I found some new blind bags. You know, many of you have asked me, like, when I go into Dollar Tree, where's the first aisle that you beeline for? Well, depending on, sorry, I got something itching me like crazy. I think it's where they had tape on my arm yesterday uh, for my surgery. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so depending on what store I walk into, what location, you're looking at different stuff right when you walk in the door. You always got like a big basket full of like what's hot. You always have a three-tier spinner usually that's got like catch your eye stuff. Um, the one store I think I frequent the most, when I first walk in the door, I'm heading right down the cosmetic section. And that's a big part, cosmetics, but then there's toys. And then I go back and forth, I'm not sure, but I have to probably say the first section I probably usually end up in is more toys than anything because it's like, yeah, I'm there for the toys. I want to have fun. I want to play. Just a big kid. All right, this is by a company called Graphix, G-R-A-F-I-X. It is three Play-Dohs, three molds, and a tool set, and it gives you all of this to make a hamburger, a hot dog, and some french fries. Whoops, how about a hamburger, a hot dog, and some french fries? How perfect is this for an Easter basket? And it comes with three molds, all your dough, sorry about the glare there, and then your tools. Then they had this one, which is called Glitter Unicorns, same company. You get two sets of sand, a package of glitter. Just gonna open it up and show you. Here's what the package looks like. So I came prepared this time. The winds here are horrible today. I think I might have to bring my flag in from the deck because I don't want it to end up on the ground. All right, let's see what we get here in this package. Yeah, that was wonderful. <clears throat> okay, you get, this is sand. So you get pink sand. Yeah, it says it right on there, back. Look at that. And then you get this, ooh, this is a pretty teal sand. And then we have this silver glitter. Ooh, these are nice. Ooh. And then here's our molds. All right. We've got a sand castle. I think that's a sand, yeah, that's a sand castle. And then we have this, oh, look at the little unicorny mold. You could use that for a cookie cutter. And then we have a unicorny mold for the sand. How cute is that? Some of, I'm not sure if you're subscribed or not, to be honest, I could just check, but I've received some comments and notes like, why do I open stuff? I don't have to technically explain that, but why not? I open it because if I have it and you look at it and go, oh, that's cool. And then I open it and you can go, mm, all right, I'm not going to waste a buck and a coin. That's my buck and the coin. So let it fall on me. That's all I'm going to say. That is too cute. All right, let's move it along here. So I talked about blind bags, blind bags. I have a song that just came to my head. What is it? I went blind bags, blind bags. What am I thinking? Patty, come on, help me. Blind bags. Blind bags. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to think of a song. All right. I found one, two, three new blind bags. Let's start off with... <clears throat> I showed you Puppy in Your Pocket the other day. Well, now we have Kitty in My Pocket. It's a kitty in my pocket. Love this purple packaging. There are... Um... How many are in there? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different kitty cats you can get. Here's what they look like on the back. I'll let the camera focus. Super cute. All right, let's roll, shall we? I always shake them down. Shake them down. <clears throat> let's open a cup and up. 
slipped open a couple up. See, I'm all twisted and tongue-tied. It's like scratching off lottery tickets. Ugh. All right. You guys always get to see before me what is in there. <gasps> wow, they're a decent size. OMG. First of all, look at the size of that. That's not one of these itty bitty things. How cute is that? And look at what it's wearing a purple hat. OMG. This is, who is this? It's a white long tear. Uh, poor long black. I can't even understand it. It's a white long haired cat. His name is Dylan. Oh my gosh, is that adorable? All right, we got to open another one now. All right, let's see. This one's kind of like all oh, squish. Let's pop this one open, shall we? Those are really good size. Don't get me wrong, I love the little itty bitty ones too, but they're so small sometimes you can't even see them. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Oh, it looks like the kitty cat from Disney. There she is. Look at that pretty pink bow. This is Snowflake. Oh, my goodness. That Snowflake. All right. Should we do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. All right. Let's see what we got here. Open one more, and then we'll move to the next blind bag. I got plenty of more this kitty cats. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at this little one playing with a little ball. All right. Who is this? This is Kiki. So that's Kiki the kitty cat. Kiki the kitty cat. Do you see the yellowish tinge? Look at that face. Oh my gosh. All right. So go and check those out. So they got kitty cats and puppies. Moving on, this new blind bag is called Jungle in My Pocket. Jungle in the bunghole. Wait, did I say that right? No. <laughs> I think my medication might have kicked in just a little bit. Um, <laughs> moving on, I'm not editing. Well, um, nobody ever watches everything I say anyways. All right, Jungle in My Pocket. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different characters you can collect. Here is what the back of the package looks like. Uh, hopefully I give somebody a good darn laugh. All right, let's open this baby up first. Always shake your packages down because you never know. Here we go. You guys get to see way before me. I just don't want to tip anything out. What do we got here? Oh, Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Now these are good size too, but they've got like a little, um, it's like a felt on them. How cute is this? This guy's name is, I think I ripped half the bit. Let me get another one. Let me see what this guy's name is. Wow, it's really hard to read. It begins with an L. They're really, they're like so blurry. Maybe you all can read them better than me. That's the one I got right there. All right, let's open up another one, shall we? These are so cute. There's the front of the package. All right, there's the inside. What do we got? Oh, he got your shame friend. There he is. Oh, there we go. So one for me and my double collection. All right. Should we do another one? Shall we? Shall we? Should we do another one? Got another one. Shake it down. Shake it down. What do we got? Hopefully it's different. I kind of dig around in the boxes and kind of pull out random ones from the top, from the bottom. I got my hand stuck in the box. People are walking by like, what is she doing? Just digging for toys. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Oh my, 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 my. I need a package to see who that is. And this is, it's really hard to read these. I apologize. Um, you'd have to really look at the bag. All right. Next. I do have some other toys here, but I'm going to save them because I'm going to stay on blind bags for a minute. Oh, but let me show you this real quick. I did find the duck in the purple glitter. 
How cute. I mean, if that doesn't scream my name, I don't know what did. All right. The next blind bags I found, and I was like, I was walking down the aisle, and I think Anna from Only In My Dreams has said this, and you have that, like, unicorn moment. For me, I didn't even know these blind bags existed, and I was, like, walking down the aisle, and my shoe was coming untied, and I'm like, okay, so I bent down to tie my shoe, and I saw this box sitting on the bottom shelf, and I was like, OMG. So I grabbed just a couple. These are called totally tiny blind bag surprise series one and you get two pieces in each bag now these are like real bling so my lights are going to get hit it somewhat here's some of the different ones you can get so let's try it out shall we i haven't opened any of these yet sometimes i'll open one or two and then um but i'm i'm like super excited okay Yeah, try not to cut too high. I mean, sometimes they'll give you a notch to rip it, but sometimes that doesn't always work. All right, there's that. So what do we got? Oh, it's in a bag. Oh, oh my gosh, look at these. So you have a heart cookie and then a set of mac... I always say macaroons. Are they macaroons? Macaroons? Macaroons, right? Mac yeah, those things. Oh my gosh. How cute are those? They're small, but they're not mini small. This one's like an inch. This one's about three quarters. So they're not super, super tiny. All right, should we open another one? Of course. All right, here's another one. Take it down. Oh my gosh, these are cute. They're smaller than the micro minis, some of them, from what it appears anyways. But yet... They're even more perfect if you have like a dollhouse or something. All right, here, here's the inside. I just kind of dug through the whole box and grabbed random. Hello. Um, oh, it's stuck. All right, so we got a double. So that's okay. It's in the plastic and it'll... All right, so let's go to another one. Hang on. Where's my scissors? Okay, here's another one. Oh, Patty, you know, on the back, I just noticed there's a taco you can get. OMG, could you imagine? All right, what do we got there on the inside? Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's eggs. Look at the eggs. And a piece of toast with butter. Is it butter? A piece of toast with butter. Oh my gosh, look at the eggs. Holy cows. All right, we're going to open one more and let's see what we get here. All right, here we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and let me know what you thought. I really want to get the taco. All right, what do we got here? I'm on the hunt for the taco for sure. Oh, we got another heart. All right, I'm going to have to go back if they got any more left and see if I can find more. But I do have several more packages I have yet to open. And some are going to go away into a giveaway. All right, two more things I want to share with you all. They're back. They had these last spring. And these take two AA batteries. They have the unicorn and the cloud back. They take two AA batteries that you put in the back and then these lights all the way around light up. Perfect reason to have a set of these tools. All right, everybody. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the fly. Bye.